Hello YouTube, this is me Tabea. This is not quite a degree where we talk about things that I do not have a degree in but I do have opinions on and today we're talking about saving the world one second hand item at a time. Before starting this video I have to say I have been in my internship for a week now and there has been so much input. I feel like my brain has just been so cluttered this week. There's just a lot of things going in, going out, like me taking on new tasks, getting to know new people, I'm kind of finding my way around a new um, area and ugh, I was just like how am I even gonna make a video about this? And I tried to kind of condense it down into one video and I failed. Maybe eventually in a couple of weeks I'll, um, I'll talk more about my internship. But for now I just, to be honest, didn't really feel like talking about work. Let's just do a classic thrift haul and I'm just gonna go with it and have fun. So today I feel like showing you some thrift shop haul things, buys, blah, <laughs> um, that I have been purchasing in the last couple of weeks. I actually had the chance to go thrifting three times, which is more than I have been in, I would want to say, years. Um, I don't know what it is, but I felt like, hey, it would be fun and maybe um, I can do my part to, you know, destroying the bad, bad, evil clothing industry by um, showing you some thrifting and maybe motivating you to go thrifting um, and eventually, obviously, going back to buying on ASOS because, yeah, <laughs> whatever, right? Um <laughs> I haven't really prepared any. So let's go oldest to newest because I feel like that makes the most sense. Um, I have showed you this before. This is um, a Calvin Klein blazer. Can you see that a little bit? Probably not so much. Anyway, it's like this little floral thing. I'm gonna put an insert here. You can see um, basically me dancing in that thing. Um, I got that at Crossroads Trading in New York, which was a very, very fun trip and a very fun experience because um, in Europe, we sadly, or I mean, at least in Germany, I think in the UK, they do have the charity shops, basically. Um, but in Germany, thrift shopping is really, really hard because, I don't know, it's just not a thing, you know, like savers or um, what else, Goodwill, those things just don't exist over here where you have like these massive stores like filled with thrift shop stuff. Um, because like the system just doesn't exist like that over here and so it's mainly smaller stores. The stores that we do have that are kind of close to the US ones, um, I haven't really had luck um, going there for the past years. I was always super discouraged when I left because everything is like so expensive and I always feel like you have a hard time finding special pieces um, because they just have basically H&M and then like really really like rags where you're just like oh my god seriously like I'm not not gonna pay money for that anymore. Also in US I got um, this bad number and you're gonna see there's a theme with this. Um, I don't know why but I have a thing for leopard print. I've always had it um, but this year um, it has kind of gotten out of hand a little bit to be honest. Like This is actually I want to say a robe so it's not meant to be worn outside. Um, got like this little color, 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 <laughs> um, and these little sleeves, um, it's just really cute, um, and there was technically a belt to it, but I wear it without it, and I just kind of throw it on as like a, like a small cardigan thing, kind of just an extra layer, um, to kind of, you know, make things cuter, and I really enjoyed it, and it's super hot here right now, for like October, we still are in the like 80s, um, or like in like the 20 degree weather, 25 degrees sometimes. And so yesterday I just basically put on a summer outfit, threw that bad boy over there and went out and I was, was like, oh, this is great. Coming back from the US, I told myself, okay, um, I know the thrift shops over here aren't great, but I'm gonna give them another try. Um, and so I went to the one that's nearest to me and that's at least, you know, kind of like the US stores. It's bigger than most thrift stores over here. Um, but I just haven't had any luck going there before. But you know, I tried it one more time and I was so happy when I left that store. So excited, seriously. I got home and I was like, ah, this is great. I actually found four things. Starting off with, yay! <laughs> You're gonna see there's 
more leopard coming. Um, is this the right way around? No, it's not. I actually just grabbed this um, off the off the rack where it was drying because I just washed it. Um, <laughs> so this little guy, um, it's another blouse. No, another blouse. No, we haven't had a blouse yet. Um, it's a blouse. Um, apparently by like some vintage uh, Italian. I don't know, label of some sort. I don't think it's like anything super expensive or whatever. Um, but it's super cute. It's got long sleeves, um, no pockets. It's just like a plain leopard print blouse, if you will. You have another leopard, leopard print blouse. That's a hard word. Um, that is actually from like a designer brand of some sort, um, but it uh, has like more ornaments and like black patches and stuff like that on it. And so sometimes I'm like, okay, that blouse itself, I'm actually going to get it. Um, it's this one. It's from uh, Escada, actually. So, that was maybe expensive some time back when it was bought new, I don't know. But it, as you can see, it has like these um, ornaments to it and like decorations on the sleeves and everything. And while well, I love wearing this one a lot, I, I felt like this one, the new one that I just got, is going to be a lot more versatile because leopard print itself is obviously very eye-catching, but with like added ornaments on it, I sometimes feel like it just takes like the whole show and so the rest of the outfit kind of has to take a step back. And with the new one, I kind of feel like, okay, you can maybe incorporate that more and have either another statement piece with it or just kind of generally have a look that's a bit more subtle than... Um, going full out. The one problem that I have with German thrift stores is usually their prices. Usually they will charge you anything from like 15 to 25 bucks for a piece and I feel that's so overpriced because I'm used to thrift stores in the US where you pay, I don't know, maybe like 5 to 10 bucks um, for any given item um, and so it's just not very fun. But when I came back from the US and went thrifting that day, I was actually super lucky um, to find a couple pieces that were like decently priced, um, being that blouse and also this blazer. I don't think you can see very much of it. It's like just a very plain dark blue navy um, blazer, like little lapels on the front and yeah. It's from like a, a high street brand basically. But it was like eight bucks and I was just like, score, my size, good price, girl is in. And I kind of debated and go, went back and forth if I were to buy it. But then I ended up being like, okay, you know, it's eight bucks, whatever, we're going for it. And like now that I'm in my internship, it's so good to just have a plain blue blazer that's fitting me well. Because, you know, in a professional environment, you can never have enough blazers, basically. So that was a win. I don't know what to do next because the next two items are like my score. I love it. I am so happy items. Um, I don't know what to show you first, but mm, okay, we're going for that. We're going for this one. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's a skirt. Ooh, ooh. You can literally, it's so much fabric. Um, this is like an A, an A form circle skirt with an underskirt, can you see that? Um, like a petticoat underskirt, whatever. Um, that's like kind of cinched in the waist and then it like goes out and yeah, it gives you like this really flowy, swingy um, silhouette. It has flowers on it, super pretty. Um, and it was actually super long when I bought it. It was like a full length skirt that was meant to be worn with like the traditional dirndl outfits um, that we have in Germany, mainly in Bavaria. I don't know how it's made its way back up here. And I really, really enjoyed it. I was just like, oh, this is so pretty, so feminine, so fun for fall. Um, and it was 30 bucks. So I was like, oh, it's kind of expensive. And I didn't really like the length, but I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna take a leap of faith here basically, took it home with me and made it into a DIY project as in I shortened it. And let me tell you, shortening that thing was a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I didn't fail completely at it. So that was really, really exciting because now I'm wearing it and it's fun and I get compliments on it and yay. So, okay, grande finale, um, at least for that part of the haul is this. Oh my god, it's shiny, look at it. I feel like I'm so full of weird energy today. Be related to the fact that I just stole like super sugary cereal from my roommate. Thank you, man. 
I love it. <laughs> this is um, a trench coat, I think. Yeah, I think you can call it a trench coat. Basically, it's a huge coat um, in this leopard print, in this like, I don't know, vinyl fabric that they have um, around in like black and red a lot right now, but this is leopard, which makes it indefinitely better, obviously. Um, it is like super, super cozy on the inside. I love it. It's like, mm, you just kind of want to, you know, wrap yourself in it. It's got like a little strappy strap around the waist and then like these little thingies um, on the arms. It hits me, I want to say like below my butt basically, so it's not super long, but it's um, definitely longer than all the coats that I have been owning beforehand. And it's really, really great for fall. And obviously it's also really, really great if you want to be that person that everybody looks at in the street. So yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so that was um, my first haul that I got when I went back to Germany after being away. And then now, four weeks later, yesterday, I was like, mm, okay, I might need a couple other things for fall. And so I went out and I actually hit up four thrift stores, actually five. The one that I got all of that stuff that I just showed you from was closed that day, which was a little annoying. Um, but then I went to another part of town where they have these like all super small vintage shops I had not been to before and so I hit up a couple of those and I was really surprised actually because some of them um, do have decently priced items which I wasn't expecting um, and I was successful to some measure in thrifting a couple of cool things one of them being the sweater, sweater that I'm wearing right now which is just like ugh. A plain black turtleneck sweater um, which was super fun because I was just like okay I definitely need this item basically um, but I was sure I was not gonna find it in those small stores because it's like oh, this is too simple basically for them to sell it um, but they do and they actually had two and I picked this one and I'm really happy because I have a whole bunch like I have the um, skirt that I just showed you and I also have two pairs of like really really colored pants um, that I basically just needed like a simple black um, top to wear with it and yeah now I have it and it's like yay good thing lastly yeet another favorite of mine where it's just like wow I could have paid so much money for this on ASOS but I got it for a lot cheaper um, and more special and this is Another blazer. I feel like this is blazer number three. I have a blazer addiction. It's not even real. Like in the winter, I just wear blazers every single day. Um, which is, I guess, okay if you work in a professional environment. I don't know if you can wear this in a professional environment though. I just, I probably will anyway. Um, yeah, it's this gold number. I mean, I mean what, like, mm. it's just, it's, I think it's, um, Technically for men, but most cool blazers are for men, which is something that I'm mad about on a daily basis. Because whenever you go on like ASOS or any cool site, the women's section for suits is always super small and it's like, okay, we have something black, blue, and maybe something in like rose pink color, colors. Um, and then you go to the men's section, especially on ASOS, and they have all of these cool blazers. Um, like super colorful, cool material, sequins, whatnot, but they, you know, they're for men, so they're never really cut exactly in the way that, you know, you would want them to be cut for women. Um, so that's kind of sucky, basically. So, yeah. This one is a men's blazer as well, but I felt like it was still you know, wearable for me anyway. That was my thrift haul for this week. Go thrifting, save the world one secondhand item at a time. Um, it was really lovely talking to you and I'm excited to get back to you next week and maybe talk about more cool things that I've been learning in my internship or in the world or whatever. So <laughs> that's that and bye bye. <laughs>